do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied about how the elements uh, arrangement were been done by the uh, previous uh, scientists like uh, doby linears or cooks and uh, we have also got to know about the newlands octet so this were the arrangements done by the um, well known uh, scientists that had made the arrangement of the elements and that had made an influence in preparation of the modern periodic table but before that we are going to talk about another one who had made this kind of arrangement and that name is lothar meyers so what are the arrangement done by him let us talk about that so let us talk about that what is lothar meyers arrangement of elements lothar meyers Lothar Meyers plotted various physical properties such as atomic volume, density, melting point, boiling point, etc., against the atomic weight of the elements. Because in the previous lecture that we have got to know that uh, the Dobie linear have arranged uh, uh, triads that we uh, commonly known as, and because of which they it has been uh, got to know that the middle uh, element in the group of three uh, was the average atomic mass they it has an average atomic mass compared to that of the first one and the second one, uh, and the third one so because of that they have made a few classifications of the elements and uh, after that what we have got to know that the cooks have also arranged the few elements in such a manner that they have formed a homologous uh, pattern and moreover the um, newlands octave have also did the arrangement in which the first element uh, uh, which had the same property with that of the eighth element so this were the arrangement that were done by the previous zones but lothar meyer have did something uh, extra in that and what are those he had made an arrangement uh, because in that case <clears throat> Lothar Meyer have did an extra work because in that case, uh, in the previous one that we have got to know that it was related to the atomic weight and uh, as well as the properties also. But now Lothar Meyer have arranged the particles uh, or arranged the elements in such a way that uh, it consisted of the atomic weight with respect to their atomic volume, density, melting point, boiling point. So he has classified. Uh, the every element uh, that he had made the arrangement and have classified their particular boiling point melting point and based on that he had made the arrangements so the first thing that we have got to know and we should know that he had made the atomic volume density melting point to be uh, and have given an information of a particular of a particular element and then he have arranged the elements uh, so as to uh, we could say that uh, so as to classify the elements as well as what are the properties of them so the again what he did what the point that we have observed in his uh, arrangement that the properties varied in periodic fashion hence he made conclusion that variation in periodic uh, functions uh, are because of the atomic weight because as we know that uh, he had arranged the elements in such a manner that they have similar properties and, or they would have shown a variations so the variation that were being observed they were because of the atomic weight or on the basis of which he had arranged and uh, as well as the density and other also uh, other also parameters or other functions were also been there in that uh, consideration but the main consideration was he had arranged in a manner where the atomic weight was been related or uh, there would we could see that there was an a uh, variation on the basis of the atomic weight so and this make made him to uh, made him famous for to know that the periodic variations in atomic volume of the element with atomic weight was the most important thing that was done by the lothar meyer and because of which now also we could see that uh, in modern periodic table also that uh, various uh, elements that show various variations when we move from left to right that is uh, across the period or we we move down the group the similarities the chemical similarities um, uh, remains the same uh, for the whole group uh, almost and while we could see as the atomic number increases or as the atomic weight also increases there are the kind of variations that we could see but the modern periodic table it deals with the atomic mass that we have got to know but the previous one they were stick to the concept of the atomic weight or the atomic mass so because of the lothar meyers have made an uh, more advanced thing or 
giving the more detail about a particular elements by giving its uh, different kind of properties like melting point boiling point so that had helped to uh, evolve the uh, concept of making a periodic table so this is was the importance of the Lothar mirrors arrangement of elements that we have talked about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood that how it was an important arrangement done by the Lothar mirrors and you share this video with your friends too and yes don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much